ora, I'm James Beck and this is Food and Wine Country. I've been cooking for 15 years in Hawke's Bay now and I just love it here. I love the people, I love the producers, I love the products. In this behind the scenes series, I'm really excited to be pulling back the covers and show you the beating heart of Hawke's Bay food and wine country. Here we are in central Hawke's Bay at my friends Duncan and Annabelle's beautiful spot, Patangana Station, which is just the home of Waipawa Butchery. It's a spring menu, so we're going to keep things really, really simple. I've got some beautiful Hawke's Bay asparagus here, some central Hawke's Bay eggs, a few Hawke's Bay pickles and vegetables. We're going to make a really simple asparagus mayonnaise salad. Yeah, this is really beautiful new season asparagus from the Farm Fresh at the Hawke's Bay Farmer's Market. Tell me what makes good asparagus, Maddie. Um, well, nice uniform sized spears, yep. um, yeah, nice clothes, tight tips. Sure. I'll just take a kilo bag, thanks. Hey, so I just wanted to grab some of this hemp oil and a thing of flakes, please. No worries. Thank you. <laughs> thanks, bro. We make all of our own product, we grow all of our own product, and we are here at the market um, as our local community touch point. We started growing our hemp in the Central Hawke's Bay, um, in Ōtani, where they grow regeneratively. So the asparagus is now cooked, and the sauce we're going to use, is it's based on a, on a really classic sauce, a sauce grabiche, which is kind of a mayonnaise mixed with egg yolks and things like that. I've just made it much more chunky and just used a few more interesting ingredients from around Hawke's Bay. And these are some eggs which I've soft boiled for about six minutes. Chuck that all in as well. I'm just going to carefully mix that all together. And it's really just about creating a really interesting texture with our asparagus, okay? So you've got your sauce, but there's all lots of, lots of different bits of crunch in there as well. There you have it, a really beautiful, simple spring Hawke's Bay dish with some great products. Now I'm going to get the lamb ready. So I just score through the lamb, just through the fat down to the skin. Season it well with some salt. I've just sealed it on the other side, but I haven't left it too long on the other side in the pan because I want a nice even colour inside. Here I've just got some normal sauce vegetables, so some onions, a bit of garlic, some carrots and some celery. I'm going to put in my reduced uh, beetroot cooking liquid, about half a litre of uh, lamb stock. I've got just a little bit of Dijon mustard. The purpose of that is just to make sure that the crust sticks to the lamb. I've got these incredible hemp seed flakes, which have just got a really interesting nutty flavour. And, and here I've just got a mix of herbs from my garden. Just mix it all up. Shove it around a bit, get a nice covering. Now I'm just going to go get my sauce. going to put this over because what's going to happen as it cooks is all the beautiful juices from the lamb are going to drop into that sauce as well and really give us some nice flavour. I'm going to pop it in an oven at 180 degrees for 15 minutes. It should be perfect. We're all about consistency and so having the same breed, same sex, every week, same weight. Handling it the same, ageing it, you know, it gets hung for four to five days before it gets sold. You know, the farm's ten minutes away from the shop. Yep. Waipawa Butchery shop has always had a really been really well supported locally. I'm going to strain this liquid off and we're going to finish the beach at risotto. Here are all my grains, I've already cooked them individually. The chopped walnuts, I'm going to add some beetroot. I'm just going to add in a good chunk of this delicious feta. The really cool thing about this dish is that the all that liquid we put in there now becomes the sauce for the lamb as well. So I'm just going to pop this in and then we're going to carve Duncan's beautiful lamb. Look at that, beautiful and pink. I'm going to finish it with some of this really beautiful hemp oil from the guys down at Kanapu. The 
Okay, and now I'm gonna do this really, really simple dessert. So here I've got uh, about 200 mils of vanilla flavored hemp milk from Kanapu. I uh, heated it up to put the gelatine in, and now I've cooled it down to room temperature. Whipping the cream just gives a really nice lightness to this dish. This is kind of a dish based on the idea of a panna cotta, which is basically a set cream, and set it for about two hours in the fridge. In this bowl here, I've got some of the beautiful Scotch strawberries. I've just been marinating them with a little bit of sugar, and what that does is bring out this incredible sort of rose-coloured strawberry liquid. I can almost smell the Hawke's Bay sun. Pop on a few fresh ones as well, and there you have it, a really simple, lovely and fresh Hawke's Bay spring dessert. In this behind the scenes series, we're going to discover the people and the produce that make Hawke's Bay such a great destination for foodies. Stay tuned for something delicious.